Hi champions, and welcome back to another week. I hope you guys are great. Now, do you guys, do you guys like my backpack? I'm really excited because I'm going to be joining Sharon on our virtual road trip. I hope you guys remember what we learned last week. But we learned about the first two commandments, which is to put God first and to make no other idols. Now this week, we are learning about commandments three and four. That is, that we should never misuse God's name and that we should observe the Sabbath. Now the Sabbath is the day, day in a week where we rest so we, and we worship God, which for us is normally Sunday. Now, I bet you guys are wondering what's in my bag. Do you guys wanna see? Okay, I think I'm gonna show you what I've taken on my virtual road trip. So, let's see what I have in this massive bag. First of all, you know, we're gonna need a face mask because safety first. This is very, very important for any road trip. And to go with that, I think I need some hand sanitizer. Got my big tub of hand sanitizer to keep me safe. Right, let's see what else I have in this bag. I'm so excited about this one. Are you guys ready? I don't think you guys are ready to see what else is in my bag. Okay. Mini Mouse. I've got Mini Mouse, my favorite teddy to keep me company on my trip. Hmm. Let's see what else. Oh my gosh, guys, I found something. I found, what have I found? I have found a big idea. A big idea was hiding in my bag. And this week, our big idea is that we obey God by worshiping God. Now, I think I'm gonna put this back in because we're gonna learn about that a little bit later. But first, I think it's time to hear from our Riddler. Are you guys ready to hear from him? He's got a super cool riddle for you guys, so make sure you're listening and try to figure out the answer. Let's hear. Champions, it's me again. Yeah, you know who I am by now, the Riddler. Okay, I've got another riddle for you this week. Bet you can't get this one. What has hands but can't clap? Yeah, see, I knew it was going to be a tricky one for you. I bet you can't get it. I'll tell you the answer at the end of the service. Bye for now. Well, I hope you guys like that rizzle and you've got your answer ready for later. But now, let's all stand as we get into worship.
Christmas. Amen. What an upbeat song to lift our morning. I want everyone to still be on their feet as we get into our next worship song. This is a bit of a slow one, chat. I want everyone to think about the words. heart this morning father we give you our soul i pray lord you have your way in our lives father you place our steps you guide us down the path you have set for us lord and our common going our going you are there for us i just pray in champions today father we come to learn a bit more about you and get close towards you lord in jesus name we pray amen, amen. champions okay you can all take your seats now champions you might have noticed if you guys have been watching and paying attention we have someone new here this morning. Hello. Give a big champers welcome to Livy, or should we say Olivia? What do you want to go by in champers? Oh, uh, I don't mind. Olivia? Olivia. Yeah. Okay, champers. Give a big champers welcome to Olivia. I want to hear you guys. Hey, Olivia. Okay. That's more like it, champions. Well, Olivia, to welcome you to champions, I think it's time we play a game. Now, you don't know how Champions Games works around here. Okay. So I'm going to just give you a brief intro into how the game runs. We play a game. Yep. I win the game and we carry on going. Uh, and okay. that's how. I might win, but we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> so I'm quite it's good at games. It's your first day on the job, Livy. I would take baby steps. Okay. okay. But the game today we're going to be playing is about guessing sounds, champions. Okay? So you're going to be a sound played. And you have to see if you can work out what the sound is. Is it simple enough? Well, let's have a look.
Sean, I thought you said you were going to win. I thought you said you were good at these games. <sighs> you know what? You know what, champions? I always do this. It's your first day here. So I want you to have a nice, warm champions welcome uh, and I let okay. you win the game okay, today. Okay. That's okay. what we're going to go with, champions. And that is what happened. 100%. I let Olivia win. Okay. So like, what's up next? Well, good thing you asked because we're going to get into our Bible story. But before that, Let's hear for some champions. So here's the thing, I really love God's Word. Like really, really love God's Word because it's packed full of ways you can grow in your friendship with Him. And when I started researching what the Bible says about worship, I found a time where Jesus worshiped God too. Jesus is the absolute best example we could follow in everything we do. So I wanted to show it to you guys. Okay, check this out. One time near the end of Jesus's life, he and his friends were celebrating and having a meal together. Here's the thing you need to know about this meal. A lot of people call it the Last Supper because it was the last meal that Jesus was going to have with his friends here on earth. So as the disciples were sitting at the table, finishing their dinner, Jesus had them worship one more time all together. Jesus led everyone in a song from Psalm 118. Psalm 118 is a song of praise to God. It says, give thanks to God for he is good. His love endures forever. You guys, this was a really big deal. Think for just a second about what Jesus was facing. He was about to give up his whole life and die on a cross so that everyone else could live. And he still worshiped God by singing things from Psalm 118 like, the Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals, mortals are people by the way, do to me? And at another point, Jesus sang, you are my God and I will praise you. One of the coolest things about that psalm that Jesus sang from was that he was actually singing about what was going to happen to him without the disciples even knowing it. He was singing about how the people were going to reject him, but God was going to use the whole situation for good. That's the absolute craziest part, you guys. Jesus was worshiping God right in the middle of the hardest thing he'd ever faced, and he definitely knew it was going to be hard but Jesus also knew it was important to worship God in every circumstance. And when you and I worship God and sing to him, it helps us say with our words and our mouths the many things we know about God, like how awesome he is and how much he loves us. Jesus sang about God's goodness right before he was going to die for the wrong things we've done, which shows us that no matter what is going on, we can give thanks to God and show how much we love him. So here's what we can learn from Jesus. When we worship God, our friendship with Him will grow. We may be going through a tough time, and that's when we can lean on God to give us strength, just like Jesus did, by singing about how good God is. And when things are going great for us, we can worship God just like Jesus did, by singing songs about how thankful we are for all God has given us. God wants to be our very best friend, and we can grow in that friendship when we worship Him. Hi champions. Well, I'm really enjoying this road trip that we're on, all about the Ten Commandments. Uh, but I've got a special treat. Oh, look at these. Ah, oh, Krispy Kremes. They're so sweet. Do you like sweet treats? I do. I've got a really sweet tooth. I'm planning on eating this strawberry one later. But you know what? Something else is really sweet. 
and that is the name of Jesus. Ah, the name of Jesus. I just love his name. And that's what one of our Ten Commandments is this week. But let's just go back and recap. What did we talk about last week? We talked about how we put God first. We have no other gods. We have no idols. We don't want to put anything before God. Well, that was the first two commandments. And today we're on number three and four. And like I said, number three is all about God's name. It says we mustn't put God's name into misuse. We mustn't use God's name in vain. And I'm really sad to say that I hear people doing that all the time. In fact, even today, I had to tell my class at school, I don't want to hear you saying, oh my God, I don't like it. And they said, but why? Why don't you like it? And I said, it's because I love God and I don't want his name to be used like that. It's really important, isn't it, that we use God's name properly because his name is so sweet, even sweeter than our donuts. Now, there's another way that we can misuse God's name, and that is when we say that we love God, but then our lives don't look like we love God. You see, we need to behave in a way that gives God's name all the glory, and we have to learn that as we go through our life, and we need God's help to do that. So, commandment number three, don't misuse God's name. And then number four is keep the Sabbath holy. And it's all about making time for God. Now, I have Sunday as my Sabbath. And on Sundays, I go to church, I worship, I pray, I mix with other Christians. It's great. At the moment, I'm doing that online. But I can do all those things. And I also go to champions. So, Keeping the Sabbath holy, does that mean I don't have to, can't do anything else all day other than read my Bible? No, not quite. It just means that I want to give all my attention to God when I'm worshipping him and loving him. How do you worship God? I love worshipping God by raising my hands to him, by talking about how good his name is. I love worshipping by dancing. I read the Psalms. Oh, I love to respect the name of God when I worship. Have you worshipped in any of those kinds of ways recently? I wonder. And I have another question for you. Do you ever daydream? when your mind goes off somewhere. Did you know that the Bible actually tells us what we should put in our mind? Again, in Philippians, it says what we should do is we should think about what is right, what is holy, and what is pure. (gasps) Think about those things, Paul says. How does that help us worship? Well, when we're thinking about how good God is, how holy he is, how righteous he is, how pure he is, that makes us want to worship him even more. So we can learn about worship from the Old Testament and in the New Testament. So today's big idea, champions, is that we obey God by worshipping him. Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, your name is so sweet. Your name is beautiful and we love to worship you. Lord God, will you help us obey you in all our days and live our lives the way that you want us to and help us to worship you in spirit and in truth, with dancing, with singing, with shouting, with raising our hands. Help us to worship you, Jesus, we pray. And everyone said, amen. Bye for now. Didn't Vicky do a great job? I love learning all about our big idea about how we obey God by worshipping God. And, and Sean, did you see those donuts? Did I see them, Abigail? They looked so oh, tasty. Oh, they looked amazing. They made me really, really hungry. But do you remember why the donuts were there? Because it was shown about how sweet the name of Jesus is and how we can have meanings to our names too. So I'm going to tell you the meaning of my name. So. Abigail means father's joy. Did you guys know that? 
Sean, I wonder, do you, do you know the meaning of your name? Well, Sean Abigail means God is gracious. Oh, that's a great meaning. I that really is, do like my name. Yes, it's a great name with a great meaning. I wonder if you guys know the meaning of your names. Maybe you can go and learn that this week. Go and ask your parents or Google it and see what your name means. Well, we're going to go to the memory verse now. I hope you guys remember it. But if you don't, I'm going to remind you now. So the memory verse this week is, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbour as yourself. Hey Jubilee Champions, I'm Michael. And today I'm going to be demonstrating the memory verse for you, which is Luke 10 verse 27. And it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbour as yourself. Thank you, champions, for watching. Bye for now. Hey, champion, my name is Daniela, and I'll be demonstrating the memory verse for this week. So it goes like this. Luke 10, verse 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbour as yourself. Bye for now, champions. Out of all champions, I hope you guys had a very great service. I've got some notices, guys. We have got small groups coming soon. I want everyone to be keeping an eye out for more information about that. But, I know some of you guys have been waiting. It's time to hear what the answer to the riddle is today. Let's hear from the riddle himself. Hi, champions. Hope you enjoyed the service. Guess what the answer was to the riddle? Okay, the question was... What has hands but doesn't clap? And the answer is a clock. I knew you'd get it. See you later. See you next week for another one. Bye. Well, did anyone get that right? I mean, I was so, so close champion. But you know what? Next week, I'm going to go again. Well, hope everyone's had a fantastic week. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself today. And we'll see you next week, champions. Bye, guys. Hey Champions, my name's Stephanie and I'm part of the Champions Work Team. And today I've got two fun facts to share with you. Fun fact number one. Did you know that horses and cows can sleep standing up? Hmm. Number two. It's impossible for you to lick your own elbows. I'm not even going to try. I hope you found those fun facts interesting. I know what I did. We going on a road trip, road trip, road trip. Uh -huh. I'm packed and I'm ready to go. Woo. Where we going, Cali? Hey, where we going, Cali? Going on a road trip, road trip, road trip. Uh -huh. I'm packed and I'm ready to go. Woo. Where we going, Cali? Hey, where we going, Cali? I'm ready to go. Okay. Where we going, Cali? Hey, where we going, Cali? Going on a road trip. Road trip, road trip. I'm back then, I'm ready to go. Where we going, Cali? Hey, where we going, Cali? I'm going, going, going. Where? On a road trip, watching, share.